Welcome to Coffee with Jesus, Sunday, October 18th. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're having a tremendous Sunday and will have a wonderful day in front of you. My name's Brian Hunter. We have been doing this. This is the third week now. We are still figuring things out and defining what this is, but what we hope it to be is a time where you can come and get a little thought going in your mind about what it means to live your life in relationship with Jesus. The last couple of weeks we have been talking about who is Jesus and who is Jesus to you? I think those are both very important questions. Christology is the study of who is Jesus. Now there is a historical Jesus that you read about in the Bible. And it's important to understand who the historical Jesus was and who the Jesus of the Bible was. The second question is who is Jesus to you? So if you have a personal relationship with Jesus, what does that look like? I know that when people talk about your personal Jesus or my personal Jesus, there are some people that get a little concerned about that because are we making Jesus in our own likeness and there are people who think that that's um, irreverent and misguided. The analogy that I used last week was if you read a book does that character bring a picture in mind and does that character have a voice when you read it in your head? Or do you just simply read the words on the page? That's what we want to look at. Who is Jesus to you when you read the stories? How does Jesus look in those stories in your mind? How does Jesus sound? And then taking it further, we have read in the Bible about our personal Savior and the living Christ. Well, what does that Christ look like to you? One of the scriptures that we want to share today um, comes from <laughs> Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and eat with him and he with me. If Jesus knocks at your door and calls out, what does Jesus' voice sound like to you? And then if you open the door and invite Jesus, in and Jesus comes in and eats with you, what does Jesus look like? How does Jesus act? Those are the things that then you interact with in your life. And that is where the personal relationship with Jesus starts. Now, Jesus can just be some deity or a cross on a chain or an idea and that's okay. But for some of us have we created more of a vision of Jesus that we can relate to that works in our life. Here's the first really difficult question today and <laughs> This is sort of an aside, but I would suggest having a journal for you to write things down. Um, your Coffee with Jesus journal or um, just a little piece of scratch paper. If you've got a thought 
it would be interesting through this process to uh, write those things down. Also, if you have any questions or things you would like to bring up, drop them in the comment uh, section, um, send them to me, text me. I would love to uh, um, bring those up and, and chat, with those, uh, chat with you about those a little bit more. Here's the hard question. When you pray, who do you pray to? Do you pray to God? Do you pray to the Holy Spirit? Do you pray to Jesus? Do you pray to Jesus Christ? The interesting thing, and probably some of you are saying, well, you know, I think we believe in a triune God. Right? Three in one. So, God the Father, okay? God the Creator, Jesus, His Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three in one. All separate, but all the same. So, does that mean if we are praying to Jesus, we're praying to God? Does it mean if we pray to God, are we praying to Jesus? Holy Spirit goes to both of them. How does all of that work? Do you have that all straight in your head? How does that work for you? Our Coffee with Jesus cartoon comic strip this morning from Radio Free Babylon is titled, It's Not Easy. Anne says, God knows it's not easy, Jesus. Jesus says, yes, I do, Anne. Anne says, so you hear me? Jesus says, hear you, Anne. See you, know you. God has this whole crazy thing wired. Believe it or not, hang in there. So Anne got called by Jesus on saying, God knows using God in maybe a different term but Jesus says yes I do so Jesus is answering is God and so then does that confuse Anne even more she's talking to Jesus she talking to God she talking to the Trinity What's your thought on that? So maybe that changes. Sometimes you are talking to God. Sometimes maybe you're talking to Jesus. Sometimes maybe it's the Holy Spirit. And so then you continue to deal with the issue. Okay, so who is Jesus to me what does Jesus look like and sound like to me do those com do those questions make you uncomfortable are you a little concerned of trying to create Jesus in your head Now, as long as we're thinking about it, if you have a picture and a sound of Jesus, do you also of God? And what about the Holy Spirit? <clears throat> I told you we were going to ask some hard questions today. <clears throat> if you pray to Jesus, are your prayers formal and sit down and use certain words or is Jesus more do you have more of a conversational prayer with Jesus when you pray to God do you pray the Lord's Prayer or do you pray certain prayers 
reciting prayers or do you talk with God? What about the Holy Spirit? I have a bonus for you today. We have two comic strips to look at. Because as long as we're talking about prayer, what does prayer do? Is prayer a conversation? We read in the Bible that prayer changes things. Many of us probably feel that in our lives, that prayer changes things. But why do we pray? Once again, Anne is having coffee with Jesus and Anne says, if God is sovereign Jesus, then why? And Jesus replies, why pray, Anne? And Anne says, and omniscient, clearly. And Jesus says, sounds like someone a person would want to know. So why pray to God if God already knows everything? Why talk to Jesus if Jesus already knows everything? What does that prayer, what does that conversation do for you? Now remember, if you're first if you're tuning into this for the first time, this is not a place where I offer answers. I am offering questions because these are things you need to think through on your own. Why pray? If God already knows everything and God already has a plan, then why pray? If Jesus already knows ourselves better than we know ourselves, why have a conversation with Jesus? I would love for you to continue to think about these things throughout the week. And to remember the scripture that we talked about, Revelation 3.20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with them and they with me. Are you standing at the door? Are you inviting Jesus in? Are you willing to sit this week and have coffee with Jesus? Thank you for tuning in. Blessings upon your head.